This lesson is broken into two, as there are essentially two steps to creating Joomla content. In this first lesson, you'll learn about Joomla's storage system. This is the lesson where we finally start to talk about the most important part of a website, your content. I've broken this into two parts. This first part is about the Joomla storage system, and in the next lesson, I'll talk about the actual articles. Storing Joomla content in version 1.6 or later is similar to the way you store files on your computer. You probably have all sorts of files such as documents, photos and music files. You store these files inside folders, and folders can live inside other folders. There are no rules of course, and you can choose to create folders within folders within folders. It does, however, become somewhat difficult to manage and find your files if you don't use a logical storage system. The same principles apply with Joomla. You create content items called articles, which are a bit like files on your computer. These items are stored in categories, which are like computer folders. You can create categories within categories, which is known as nesting. But keep in mind that it is a good idea to keep this structure as simple as practical so it is easy to manage and find items. When planning your site, it's helpful to create a site map. And in this example, we'll create a simple three-tier hierarchy. There'll be a category called Articles. Inside that are two more categories called Geography and History. Inside the History category are two more categories, Ancient and Modern. Articles can be stored in any of these categories, but that's explained in the next lesson. Let's now take a look at how to manage categories in Administrator. Log into the Joomla Administrator and click the Category Manager button that appears on the Control Panel page. You can also access Category Manager from the Content menu at the top. If you installed the sample data during the installation, you'll see that there are several categories listed already. Many of these are indented to show that they are subcategories of other categories. For example, the Content Modules category lives inside the Modules category, which lives inside the Extensions category, which lives inside the Sample Data Articles category. Let's pretend that we are starting from scratch and therefore don't want to use any of the existing categories. At the top, click New. Enter a name for the category in the title box. You can leave alias as Joomla will take care of this when the category is saved. Parent refers to the category hierarchy. And as this is the topmost category, leave this set to No Parent. Now, Joomla does have all sorts of extra features, but to make it as easy as possible to learn, let's skip everything else and click the Save and Close button at the top. This returns to the category listing. Scroll down the page and click the Next button to view the rest of the list. Note that the, uh, that the Articles category has been added to the bottom of the list. Now we'll go ahead and create the rest of the categories. Click New and enter the next category title. In the Parent drop-down menu, you need to specify if this is another top-level category or if it is a subcategory of a category that already exists. In this example, we want it to live under the Articles category that was created before, so select that option. Finish by clicking Save and Close. Now you can see in the list that this new Geography category is indented under the Articles category. This process continues until all the necessary categories are created. So once again, click New, enter a title, and specify if the category belongs to another category. Finish by selecting Save and Close. 
This example included two more categories, so repeat the process. This new ancient category belongs to the history category. Now, there is one more category to enter, but this time, instead of clicking Save and Close, let's choose Save and New. This option saves the category, but instead of returning to the category listing, it opens a new entry page. This is a great time saver when entering lots of data. The last category is Modern, which is also a subcategory of History. As this is the last entry, click Save and Close to return to the Category Manager. When it comes time to building your site, you might decide that you only need one category. There are no rules and what's best for you will be determined by the amount and type of content you wish to display. For many smaller sites, you may well only need one category. If you ever wish to edit a category, simply click its title. This page will display and you can make any changes and save. Before I return, let me point out an important aspect of Joomla. As more than one person can be updating your site at the same time, Joomla uses a checkout feature. When you open something, it becomes locked, preventing someone else from opening it. When you save the item, it becomes unlocked again. This works really well, but there is a potential trap. If you open something and then use the back button in your browser, Joomla doesn't know that you have finished with the item and it remains locked. To prevent this, never use the back button in the Joomla administrator. Always choose save, or if you don't want to save, choose close. I'll close this one for now. If you ever make this mistake, you can fix it by going to site, maintenance, global check-in. If you're sure that no one else is working on anything, select the box at the top, to select everything and then click the check-in button at the top right. You now have an understanding how the Joomla storage system works and how to create categories. In the next lesson I'll show you how to create articles. While you're learning Joomla it makes sense to build your site at a web host as has been demonstrated in these lessons. Traditional websites are built on a local computer and then transferred to a host and there may be times when you'd like to do this with Joomla. For example, you might like to test things locally before publishing. Or you might be in a situation where you want to work on a site, but you don't have internet access. The Joomla Pro course includes several lessons on how to set up a local development environment for a PC, Mac, or even Linux. Click the link or button on this page to find out more about this, as well as the 100 plus other lessons in the Joomla Pro course.